Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of November 8th through the 14th. Uh, so I've been super busy lately, a lot of retail arbitrage out there. Um, GameStop had a huge sale with games. Uh, Kohl's had a huge sale. I hope uh, a lot of you hit the Kohl's sale. Uh, they were doing $10 off $50 uh, dollars on home, plus the 30% off, plus every... Uh, $50 you spent, you get an extra $10 in Kohl's cash to spend later. Uh, plus there was another additional percentage off at like Rakuten or Retail Me Not. So there's been a lot of huge sales out there. So I hope you're hitting them. Uh, and you hope you make a lot of money on this holiday coming up. But um, what we're here for is... <laughs> I was just listing this one. Uh, this is Vexy from the Smurfs. Uh, I don't even think I can get her in the picture. I think I'm going to list her for like 70 or 80. I haven't seen one this big. But a lot of uh, big plush I've been selling. I've sold about I think 5 or 6 this week alone. So a lot of big plush I've been selling. Anyways enough of my jibber jabber. Let's get into what uh, sold and I can show you the plush. Alright we will. Uh, I will do the collectibles and t-shirts and everything first. And then we'll hit the plush. I have I think 3 or 4 big plush to show you. Alright, uh, report for November 8th through the 14th, I did $2,503.45. So that's 116% up from last week. <laughs> See, when you actually list, you actually will start selling items. Um, you can see my quantity sold. I sold 97 items, which isn't bad. Isn't my best. Um, I mean, on a weekend, I've sold up almost, 100, uh, almost 200. So... Um, not not great for me, but not bad. Uh, selling costs are six hundred twenty-six dollars and twenty-seven cents, and net sales of one thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. So uh, a lot better than last week. Um, last week was kind of a stinker, uh, but with Halloween, Halloween usually, um, since I do toys and stuff, it doesn't usually do very well right after Halloween, and it picks up right after. So this is about normal for me. All right, uh, let's start with these guys. This is uh, Reese's Pieces Blanket. Um, got this in a haul uh, about a month ago or so. Uh, it comes with these little like tags, these like Christmas tags. Uh, let's see if I show you. I've probably showed you these guys before. Um, but yeah, I uh, got a bunch of these. Um, they are still selling. I think I just sold one today, so I only have two available now. And they're selling for $25.49 each. Uh, next one, this is Borderlands 3. These are just um, some, they're pins about this size, I guess about four inches. Um, yeah, actually the one, the this one canceled and then another one sold, so I still sold one. Um, but yeah, I got these off GameStop. They were, um, when I did the buyout on GameStop, they were 90, I think they were 95% off or 90% off. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of these pins and just put sets of them. Uh, they sold for thirty-one forty-four. Not bad for a bunch of pins, huh? <laughs> Gotta love the pins. Uh, these guys, these are the um, Disney Toy Story. These are the the bigger figures. Had a ton of these, probably a good twenty-five plus of these, and they are selling. There, I only have two left. And that is it. I can't even relist these anymore. I've been relisting them every 10 I sell, I relist. But um, yeah, that is it. I only have two more of these. Uh, Toy Story is starting to sell very, very well again. Uh, they slow down and then they start up and they slow down and they, when they start up. I think what it is is there's a lot of people that, um, that are selling them super cheap. So once they get rid of them or um, they sell out, then they start going to mine. Um, but I have the patience to wait them out. Next one, this is a Star Wars Black Series Bo Katan. Um, I don't know who this one is. <laughs> uh, it's from The Mandalorian. That's because it says right there The Mandalorian. But yeah, um, when it comes to characters and Star Wars and stuff, I am not too familiar. I, I know Grogu and The Mandalorian and stuff like that, but. Any ancillary figures, I am not going to know. Anyways, uh, she sold for twenty three seventy nine. 
Uh, Pokemon shirts. Uh, sold a lot of these. Um, this one is uh, XXL. This is double X. But I sold a lot of the XLs. I think I sold like four this week. Because t-shirts right now are selling very, very well for me. Which is crazy. I, you know I don't sell t-shirts very much. But since I got the GameStop haul of t-shirts, um, they're selling very well this week. So if you have a lot of new t-shirts, make sure you list them because... Um, I said they're selling. <laughs> What's next? Uh, this is a Harry Potter Quidditch. Um, this is you can see is catching that Quidditch whatever weird thingy. Now this guy was drop shipped. Uh, the the guy said of course, please don't put an invoice and all that other nonsense that they always put. They always write something there, which I don't care. Um, I'm still gonna put my card in there, but I don't do invoices anyhow. So. Anyways, uh, two sold, and they're selling for $33.99. Nice to get rid of these. Um, they've been hanging out in my store for a few years, so nice to finally get rid of some of these. Loungefly Disney. Um, this one, I believe I bought at Amazon on a great sale. Um, Amazon was having a clearance sale, so found these things. This is a nice, really nice backpack. Anytime you find a uh, lounge fly and they're super cheap, um, I'm talking about probably under 20 bucks. I mean, you can see I sold this one for 84.14, and lounge fly goes around 60 to 70, all the way up to 100. So, if you can find some nice lounge fly backpacks for, um, like I said, around 20 bucks or under, make sure you pick them up. Uh, the next one is uh, Toy Story again. I've talked about the uh, Toy Story, how they are flying off the shelves. I had about 50 sets of these total. Um, I've shown these off in the past, but I got a, a lot more when I um, did another buyout about a month ago. But yeah, I had tons of these. There was a whole shelf just of <laughs> these guys. And people were just selling them for like $10, $15 for a set, which is ridiculous. Um, I don't know why people will buy them and then just try to blow them out like that. I believe I paid, they were like 2 for $5 or something. Something really, really inexpensive. Um, these were from Walmart. Walmart was blowing them out. But yeah, it, it pays to hold on uh, to items when, when you know they're going to sell eventually. And this one sold for $25.49. I believe I still have to relist this. I believe I probably have like five or six more sets of these guys. Uh, Sabrent Ran... Ran... <laughs> Rocket Nano. I put Ran and Rocket and Nano together. Uh, this is a 2 terabyte. Um, it's just a little USB SSD drive. Um, nothing special about this guy. Um, got this at the hall that I got. Picked up a couple months ago uh, sat on it because I was not gonna sell it cheap I've got a lot of low balls like 150 and stuff like that and I'm like no I'm not selling it for less than 200 um, anyways he sold for two hundred eight dollars and 24 cents uh, back for blood promo pre-order um, this is a GameStop uh, hat I probably should go see if GameStop has any more uh, go to your GameStop see if they have any um, they were just giving these away free with uh, pre-orders, but um, they had way more than the, the pre-orders allowed. So they were just handing them out. As soon as you asked for them, they would give you one. So I'm going to go back and ask for another one and see if they have any more and maybe pick up a hat. So go to your GameStop and ask if, see if they have a, a hat. I mean, it's a free $16, $17 hat. Uh, Motorola... Uh, walkie talkies these were great these were uh, clearance at uh, Walmart I just picked up uh, about a month ago and they sold right away I had I believe 24 sets of these guys and I am completely out of these maybe I sold them too, too cheap but hey I made uh, good money on them um, they sold for $63.74 and yeah they sold super fast they actually didn't look like they were selling uh, great on eBay when I purchased them. Uh, or I would have bought a, probably about 100 of them. But yeah, they were not going very fast. At least that's what it looked like. But when I listed them, they flew off the shelf. 
right, now on to the plush. We are on to the... Uh, this one is crazy. This one went to, I believe it was Australia. Or, it, it went out of the country and they purchased it for almost $70. It cost me, I believe it was $16 to ship. And it's just a, a floppy <laughs> kangaroo. And it's even missing the baby. There's a baby that comes with it right here. Um, that was missing, but yeah, uh, made great money on this one, uh, and he's pretty big. All I do is just roll him up. Since he's so floppy, you can just roll him up and shove him in a poly bag. He came out to like a 12 by 12 poly bag. Uh, next one, this is a Disney lot. I didn't know what to do with these. Um, Donald, this looking goofy, and this Donald don't sell very well. Um, probably could get like nine. Ten dollars for him, but in a lot, I can get a lot more for him. Um, they sold for twenty five forty nine, in which, um, yeah, it would be like nine dollars for Donald, nine dollars for Goofy, and then like nine dollars for Pluto. So putting them all together made sense. Uh, this is a kids preferred black rock star dress. I didn't really know if this is a character, what the heck this guy was or girl is. Uh, wasn't too familiar with it. I know the kids preferred dolls. Uh, but yeah, um, nothing special on the doll. So I just threw her up there for 20 bucks and, and then I ran the sale and the sale came out to $16.99. And somebody needed a little star dress doll. But I've talked about in the past when you get stars and moons and uh, glitter and shine, um, people want it even if it's not a special doll or anything. So keep your eye out for anything like that. Abby Cadabby. Uh, Abby Cadabby always sells well. So if you have any Abby Cadabbies, make sure you get them listed. This one has like butterflies on her dress. Uh, nice bright and blue. Anything with bright uh, colors, which Abby Cadabby period <laughs> is, you can see her bright purple hair, but anything with bright colors always sells. Uh, she sold pretty fast. I believe she was only up there for like three months and it sold for 1954. Uh, Dreamworks, uh, Madagascar Skipper, um, Penguins in Madagascar and Madagascar Plush, um, still sell, which is surprisingly, they have not done a movie in a little while, um, but people are still looking for this plush. You can see he's a little goofy looking. <laughs> uh, Skipper always looks pretty goofy. Uh, but anyways, um, he sold for $16.99. Uh, Mario Brothers Black, Black Pack. Man, I cannot speak today. Mario Brothers Backpack. Um, this is just a plain old backpack, but anytime you have Mario Brothers uh, Yoshi... Luigi, any um, odd characters, make sure you list them pretty high. I don't care what the solds say. Look at the middle, uh, mid-range on the solds, mid to high, because that's what you're going to get for them. I mean, some of these were going for like $9, $10. I listed it for $22.99 and wound up getting $19.54 for it. Um, that's what they sell for. Don't, do not uh, list your items super low. Especially when it's Mario Brothers. Uh, Raphael, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, this is another one that the, the comps were super low. And I'm like, no, there's there's no way a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle will go for under uh, under like $15. So I listed it for $20. Uh, got an offer for $16.99. Well, it's not an offer. It's uh, the percentage I have going on on the sale and he sold pretty fast within a uh, I think it was like a month and a half that I listed him so yeah make sure you are not listing too low on your plush uh Odie um talked about Garfield selling super fast um this one I listed last week and he sold already um you can see he's got a funny red tongue he's super small he's only like what about eight nine inches Let's see, he's about nine, eight and a half, eight and three quarters. But yeah, um, Garfield and Odie are selling very, very fast. So make sure you get them listed. Speaking about Garfield, this one is going out of the country. They paid um, close to forty dollars for it. Cost me uh, ten, I believe it's ten fifty nine to ship. 
Uh, so I made almost $30 on this little tiny, what's it? Look at how tiny this guy is. It's about, he's not even four inches tall. He just goes on the top of a uh, little uh, uh, pencils. So he's just a pencil topper and someone needed him bad out of the country. Um, but yeah, made very good money on that. And he sold super fast. Uh, Bright Eyes, uh, Blue Shark, that's another one going out of the country. Um, I think it sold for like 25 something like that. <laughs> I didn't write down what he sold for. I completely forgot. But yeah, um, he's going out of the country again. It cost me ten fifty to ship uh, with using Pirate Ship. So um, yeah, I'm making uh, still a good amount of money off this guy. I think it was $25, so... Uh, Wild Republic Coyote, um, anytime you get these like wolves and dogs, make sure you put, uh, I put Coyote, Wolf, Dog, Husky. Um, those are the four wo words that I usually put in the title um, and it usually helps. You can see he is about uh, 12 inches tall and eh, just a brown dog <laughs> from Wild Republic. He sold for 2039. Alright, on to the giant plush. I think I have four more giant plush to show you. Uh, this is a Squishmallow Jonessa the Bear. Um, this is a Target exclusive. Uh, someone actually uh, messaged me, Hey, I found this guy at Costco for $20. Will you sell it to me for $25? I'm like, um, good luck finding a Target exclusive at, tar at uh, Costco. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Some people are crazy. Um... But they try to get you to lower your price, and I am not going to. You can see he barely fits the cardboard I have behind him. <laughs> he is a big monster. And what I do with the, the Squishmallows, the giant ones, is I actually will quite chop them right in half and fold them like a taco. Uh, I put the uh, tag in the, the taco middle. And then I push them in the bag and turn them sideways and then fold the bag to get it as small as possible. So the shipping cost will be as small as possible. Um, he sold for $67.99 and that is my last Jonessa. I believe I had like four or five of them and they are all sold out. Uh, Spongebob Squarepants Patrick had this guy for a long time. He is going out of the country too. I believe they paid $70, something ridiculous, to ship him out of the country. Um, cost me $16 to ship, so I'm making around $50 for this guy. But yeah, he has his tongue sticking out, and um, yeah, he's just hilarious. He could not be folded. I had to just smash him into a bag. Um, his head could be smashed a little bit, which was fine. Um, it helped get him in the bag, but yeah. Giant plush have been selling very well. I really got a list. I have a bunch over here in the corner that I really got to get listed, but just so much thing, so many things to do. Here is a gun, Littlefoot. He's not um, giant, but he's still not small. He's 16 inches. Um, he has a bad scratch on his eye that I actually repaired. Let's see if I can. Just, oh, I should have a picture of it. Um, there you go. You can see <laughs> I colored it in and the coloring didn't do very well, but hey, um, he sold, which is um, super happy about. You can see he really had no eyeball left, so I had to do a little fancy coloring. Uh, I am not the best artist, as you can tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put it, put it right in front. I just scratched and there's small discoloration on his side. There's a side, yeah. There's a little bit right here why I tried to wash. It looks like somebody actually burned him. So I had to trim off a little bit of the fur. And um, yeah, it didn't look too bad. And he still sold for $30.59. So super happy with that guy. Um, and all my Bronx sold. Uh, Bronx is a large Squishmallow, um, 16 inches. And 16 inches doesn't sound large, but for Squishmallow it is because they put a lot of padding in this guy. And like I said, I just karate chop them, do a taco, put make sure the tag is in the taco, shove them in the bag so I don't have to worry about them. Um, he sold for $44.19 and that is my final bronc unless I find some more at Target. 
Uh, BarkBox. BarkBox is amazing. Anytime you find any of these BarkBox toys, make sure you look them up. This guy sold for $28 and he's just a tiny little, um, I don't even know what he is, a squirrel? Chipmunk? <laughs> uh, I guess he's a squirrel. It says Agent Tailwind. Oh, the spy who licked me, squirrel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all these dog toys have been selling for a lot of money. So make sure you pick them up. I got this at the at the bins for uh, a few pennies. So um, yeah, keep your eye out for these Bark Bucks toys. They are selling and selling pretty fast. Uh, Valentine's Day porcelain baby face white teddy bear. Um, this one I've had for years in my store. Um, usually these like hard faced um, toys do very very well but this one just did not want to sell at all. I mean it's cute. I don't know why I didn't want to sell. I took a best offer I believe it was like $16 just to get rid of it because it's been in my store for way too long. Um, yeah it you never know <laughs> why some things sell for big money and then we'll, some will just wait forever. Uh, Everest Paw Patrol, I just listed these. I am listing a ton of these like talking uh, uh, toys. I am I have this corner over here that is piled up to the ceiling with all these uh, talking toys. I am finally uh, putting batteries in them and testing them and getting rid of them. Because I don't have a lot of excess inventory right now. So I am trying to get rid of all the old stuff just to clear out some space. I mean, I'm tired of having this huge just corner <laughs> of my room that uh, I can't even do anything with. Because it's just full of talking toys. But yeah, he sold almost overnight for $35.69. So he sold super fast. Well, Paw Patrol is great to begin with. Uh, speaking of the another talking toy, this is uh, Abu from Aladdin. This is a repeater toy. If you know uh, the repeater toys, the repeater toys uh, just start talking back to you. Whatever you say, whatever stupid thing you say, it'll repeat it, which is uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, he also bounces up and down, so um, <laughs> he's pretty funny. I should have done like a video of all the talking toys, but just been super busy lately but anyways um hope you enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and don't fiddle fart around get all your listings up take care bye